All right, now in this video, let me share 10 basic tips to make use of the circle to search feature, which is available on one UI 6.1 to its fullest potential. Before we dive in, if you're interested in this wallpaper, I have left a link for that in the description. Every video which I post will have a brand new wallpaper. So if you're interested in them, go ahead, check out the description and download it. And while you do that, be sure to subscribe to the channel. We are inching closer to 100K. Do support and hit that subscribe button. Now let's go ahead. Uh, we all know how to activate circle to search feature. All we need to do is just press and hold on the home button here at the bottom. Or if you have this navigation gesture bar, you can just press and hold on this to activate circle to search. Now the first tip is translating the text. Let's say you are going through any text which is on your screen in a foreign language. And if you want to translate it, all you can do is just activate the circle to search and select the text that you want. And we get this option translate. You can just tap on translate, select the language that you want this is in English and you can select the language uh, to which you want to translate this English uh, text to. And you see, we have got the translation right here. That is the first step. Next one is copying text. Again, let's go to a particular article, activate circle to search, select the text you want, just tap on copy. You will be able to paste this on any other application, Samsung notes, messages, or anywhere you want. Next step is searching a particular application in the app store. Now, if you see any app icon on any of the web pages, you can just activate the uh, circle to search feature and circle it on that particular app icon. Just scroll down the results. You will be able to see Google Play Store uh, result as well. Just tap on that. It is going to take you directly to the Play Store from where you can uh, download the application. Pretty cool, isn't it? Next, we'll be able to search the images, which we all know. Activate circle to search, select the image that you want, and you will get the search results right here. Let's move to the next step. I have got the image of uh, my cats here. We have got silver and focus sitting right here on the table. Now, what I'll do is I will just activate Google search and circle focus here. You see, it is showing me the cat breed, which is fantastic. Now, uh, we will also be able to add to the search. You see, uh, the image has been selected. And if you want to search more about this particular image, you can uh, tap here to add something to it. Let me tap on this and uh, add maybe in uh, marble pattern. You see, we have got Bengal cats in marble pattern here. This is just perfect. We can add more to the search results. Uh, if you select an image or if you select any content on circle to search we will be able to add uh, more to that particular search to uh, explore more about the content that you have selected now let's say you're watching some short videos on youtube and in the description of the video if you want to click any link it would not be clickable so if you want to open these links you don't really have to take the screenshot or select the text or do anything of that sort all you can do is just activate circle to search and just select the link that you want to click. Just select it. You see that link is available right here in Google search result. Quite useful, isn't it? This is possible on any link that you want to open. If the link is not clickable, you can just select the link and open that link using circle to search. Next, let's say you're watching some contents on YouTube and you see some text which you want to copy. Again, for that, just activate the circle to search and tap on the text that you want to select. This will pause the video and you will be able to select the text that you want from a video on YouTube or any other platform. And that is not it. We will also be able to search images from uh, the YouTube videos or any other videos that you're playing on the phone. Uh, again, just activate uh, the circle to search and select the image that you want to search on a particular video. You see, I just selected the color palettes here and the same images will appear on the search results as well. Now, a lot of customization lovers out there are fond of wallpapers. And uh, the moment you see a wallpaper on any video or anywhere on the internet, you would love to have it on your phone as well. Again, for this purpose, you can use circle to search to search a particular wallpaper. Let's say now I found this particular wallpaper on any platform on the internet or any other browser and I want to search this particular wallpaper, all I can do is activate the circle to search, select the entire image here. You see the similar images will pop up right here at the bottom. You will be able to uh, select it and download that image for your phone. Sometimes you may get the exact image and most of the times you will get similar images which you will be able to download from Google search results. Now let me select some other image here. I will use the circle to search on this. You see this image is available right here or we've got another website here called Wallpaper Flare where we will be able to download similar wallpaper from this website. So if you are into wallpapers, then you will be able to use this circle to search feature whenever you find a wallpaper on a video or any other search results on the phone. The next step is about using the circle to search feature itself. We will be able to tap, scribble or circle on the contents on the screen to select a particular area. Now let me just activate circle to search. Now let's say I want to uh, tap on a particular area. I can just tap on this. 
you see it is just selecting the text here. Let me do that again. When I tap on this, it will just select the text here. And if I circle this entire area, it selects this entire place here and I will be able to customize it. I can select the area that I want here. Instead of this, we will also be able to just scribble on the screen. You see, I'll just scribble it and it select a particular area here. Now I found something interesting here. Let me activate circle to search. I will select this uh, four kilometer per hour wind speed, which is mentioned here. You see, it will directly convert this to meters per second on the Google search results. That is cool, isn't it? Lastly, if you want to see the search history, you will be able to tap on this three dot button when you activate circle to search. We will be able to tap on search history to see everything that you have searched in the past. And you can also delete uh, the last 15 minute search history by tapping on this option here. Now, these are some amazing things that you can do using circle to search feature. And I'm not sure whether you guys are using it effectively. So this video should help you to use circle to search feature effectively. Go ahead, check out circle to search feature on your Galaxy S23 series or the S24 series. And I hope this feature lands on the other predecessors like the S22 series or the A series phones very very soon. That's all I want to share with you guys. Thanks for watching. If you haven't subscribed to the channel, go ahead and do that immediately. You can become a part of this Apex community to know your phone better and know all the features that you get, all the updates that you get on the phone and many other tech related contents will be available on the channel. So go ahead, subscribe and give this video a like if you find it useful. Thanks for watching. You guys take care and stay safe. Cheers. Bye-bye.